Hi Stampers, Rose Grunewald here coming at you from my stamping studio in New Holstein, Wisconsin. And today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple but very pretty card using the Picture Perfect Birthday Stamp Set. This is in the Occasions catalog and it's paired with this really pretty um, Picture Perfect Party Designer Series paper. Um, we're not using the paper for this card, but I did take some inspiration from the colors in the card. On the back of your DSP packs, you can see the colors that they used um, in these designs. So this pack uses Basic Black, Bermuda Bay, Berry Burst, Lemon Line Twist, Peekaboo Peach, Pool Party, and Whisper White. So I took those cards as inspiration for my card, and we're going to get stamping right away. This card has three layers. You've got your card base, a berry burst layer that's going to just peek out of your card front, and then a whisper white card front layer. Now I'm going to have all of the dimensions for these in my blog, so make sure you check that out after you watch my video. There will be a link to it in the description. This layer here is three and three quarters inches by five inches. So we're a half inch smaller on each side than the card base. And we're going to use all these candles. So you can see here on the stamp set, we've got, hopefully this light isn't glaring for you. We've got um, these three uh, rectangles kind of um, decorated. And they can go with this noisemaker, or you can pair it with the flame for a candle or whatever else you'd like to do with them. I'm going to use these as candles. So, oops, I've got the wrong color here. I'm going to come in here first with my Bermuda Bay. Now I'm stamping on a Pierce mat because I'm using these stamp sets are photopolymer. And there's really no cushion in them, and so I like to put something that has a little give underneath my project. So first I'll come in here with this polka dot design. Next I'll bring in my berry burst. right next to it. And then I'll come in with my pool party. And then Last but not least, I'm going to use the Happy Birthday Sentiment. I'll show it to you right up here. I'm going to use this as a candle as well. And so I'm going to want it to read this way. Of course, you could do it the other way if you like. Using my Memento ink. I have to re-ink my Memento here. And I'm going to use this as a candle as well. And all that's left is to come in with the flames. The flames I am stamping in Daffodil Delight. So we've got Bermuda Bay, Berry Burst, Pool Party, our Memento Black, and then the flame in Daffodil Delight. I love the bright colors here. So we've got our birthday candles. Okay, next I'm going to adhere this to a layer of berry burst that is just one eighth of an inch bigger than my first layer. 
And that will give it just a little tiny border peeking out around the outside edge. I'm using snail adhesive to adhere this layer. Looks good so far, huh? I wanted a little extra in this corner, and so I turned to my stash of ribbon here, and I found this Bermuda Bay, let's see, this one is the mini chevron ribbon, and I just cut a piece of that. Some of my lace trim, this is a little bit long, I'm gonna trim that off, very vanilla. And then um, in the Occasions catalog, there is a combo pack of tinsel ribbon. It's a gold and a berry burst, and I'm using the gold. So I'm just going to layer these on the card. I'm gonna tie this in a bow. So to do that, I'm gonna make my loop wrap around and push through and then I can tug on the tails of this bow to make it the size that I want. There, I think that looks good. <clears throat> So now I want to bring these on to my card. So I'm going to attach them with staple. Now Stampin' Up! doesn't sell their handheld stapler anymore, but you could really use any handheld stapler. Just look in the office supply section of your local Walmart or something like that. Get these lined up here a bit better. Okay, now we're just gonna come in here. Make sure I'm grabbing all the layers and staple. And then all that's left for me to do is trim the ends of my ribbon. We've got our card front done. And now I'm going to adhere this to my card base. I'm using Whisper White Thick. And I'm gonna pop that up on some dimensionals. Centered. There. Cute, huh? Super simple. Great way to use your ribbon besides just um, wrapping around and tying in a bow. You can decorate the inside of this card if you want. Um, I think I'm going to leave this one blank so I can write a nice long note. My sister's birthday is coming up, so I might use this card for her. She really likes clean, crisp, and uh, a bright style is her style. So thanks so much for stopping by and checking out my video today. Make sure that you're subscribing to my YouTube channel so that you can always get the next video as soon as I release it and so that you don't miss a thing. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. 
any uh, customer who orders from me gets invited to my private VIP group, and I have lots of extras on that page um, that I'm not posting anywhere else. Also, make sure you check out my blog for the dimensions of this card. It's at www.countrycardsbyrose.com. Thanks again for stopping by, and have a great day.